European Parliament Vice President Arrested U.S. Bill Backs Record Military Spending 15 children have died from Group A Streptococci Some bacteria have grown resistant to last resort antibiotics Climate disaster damage down to $268 billion K-pop star to join SpaceX moon trip Air purifying headphones double the price of AirPods New smart basketball makes anyone a better shooter Hello, I'm Johnny. Thank you for joining us on Funding News. It's Monday, December 12th, and here are your top stories. According to media reports, a European Parliament Vice President and Greek Socialist MEP Eva Kali was arrested last Friday in connection with an influence peddling investigation. Kali was among six suspects arrested in Brussels on Friday, and the 44-year-old's home was searched after her father was allegedly caught leaving a hotel with 600,000 euros or $632,000 in a bag. On December 1st, she voted in favor of an EU visa liberalization process for Qatari nationals during a parliamentary committee meeting that she doesn't sit in. The media reported Kylie was stripped off her powers as a vice president of the parliament, but she's still an MEP and would normally enjoy immunity from criminal prosecution. The Belgian prosecutor's office said that it had suspected for several months that Gulf State, identified by Belgian media as Qatar, had paid large amounts of money and offered gifts to influential people within the European Parliament. But Qatar's mission to the EU released a statement Sunday rejecting misconduct allegations. The U.S. House of Representatives backed legislation last Thursday, paving the way for the defense budget to hit a record $858 billion next year, $45 billion more than proposed by President Joe Biden. The House passed a compromised version of the National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, by 350 to 80, far exceeding the two-thirds majority required to pass the legislation and send it for a vote in the Senate. The fiscal 2023 NDAA authorizes $858 billion in military spending and includes support for Taiwan and Ukraine. On this vote, the yeas are 350. The fiscal 2023 NDAA provides Ukraine at least $800 billion in additional security assistance next year and includes a range of provisions to strengthen Taiwan. The Senate is expected to pass the NDAA this week, sending it to the White House for President Joe Biden to sign into law. However, the NDAA is not the final word on spending. Authorization bills create programs, but Congress must pass appropriations bills to give the government legal authority to spend federal money. Since September, at least 15 children across Britain have died from the complications of a bacterial infection of a Group A streptococci, commonly known as Strep A. A children's hospital in Canada was forced to ask the Red Cross for help to deal with the unprecedented number of patients. Since high numbers of strep A infections will lead to more severe cases, the WHO is advising countries in Europe to be vigilant in case of similar increases. The backdrop to the deaths in Britain is a big rise in the number of cases of scarlet fever. Scarlet fever is a highly infectious illness caused by strep A bacteria. Early treatment of scarlet fever with antibiotics is important. On the rare occasions when strep A gets into the bloodstream, it can cause a dangerous illness known as an invasive group A strep, or IGAS. As lockdown restrictions have been lifted, cases of IGAS are higher than normal in Britain, particularly in children under the age of 10. The WHO said there is no evidence yet that the higher levels of IGAS are related to a specific or new strain, nor to an increase in antibiotic resistance. A World Health Organization report based on data from 87 countries in 2020 showed increased drug resistance in bacteria causing bloodstream infections, including against last resort antibiotics, was seen in the first year of the coronavirus and pandemic. The report said above 50% of resistance have been reported in bacteria that typically cause life-threatening bloodstream infections in hospitals. These infections often require treatment with last resort antibiotics drugs that are used when all other antibiotics fail. But the study found about 8% of bloodstream infections caused by Klebsiella pneumoniae grew resistant to a vital last resort group of drugs called carbapenems. 
The overuse and or misuse of antibiotics has helped microbes to become resistant to many treatments. A landmark global analysis published earlier this year found that 1.2 million people died in 2019 due to antibiotic-resistant bacterial infections, making antimicrobial resistance a leading cause of death worldwide, higher than HIV, AIDS, or malaria. Struck， 它是 strike 这动词的过去式。Strike a deal 就是钱。学习，享受一个人的美好时光。Long day 英语。According to insurance and catastrophe giant Swiss Re, the state of climate change in the 2020s, which will incur 268 billion dollars in global disaster costs, is a 12% drop from the previous year. Where it damaged past $300 billion, the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said that there were 15 U.S. weather disasters which caused at least $1 billion in damage. This figure reflects statistics through October and will likely end this year with 16 or 17, down from 22 and 20 in the last two years. Stanford University Environment Director Chris Field, who led a United Nations 2012 report on extreme weather, said. What this means is that in some years we get hit harder than others. In other years we get hit like never before. The important thing is that the trend in disasters is increasing. India scholar Guha Sapir and University of Washington health and climate professor Christy Abbey said, "What is ensured is a small fraction of total infrastructure and the people killed in Pakistan." Japanese billionaire Yuzaku Mizawa announced last Friday that K-pop star Top and DJ Steve Aoki will be among the eight crew members he plans to take on a trip around the moon as soon as next year, hitching a ride on one of Elon Musk's SpaceX rockets. The fashion tycoon and his crew would become the first passengers on the SpaceX flyby of the moon as commercial firms. The mission aboard SpaceX Starship vehicle is scheduled to take eight days from launch to return to Earth, including three days circling the moon. Top, the stage name of Choi Seung Kyung, who broke out with the K-pop group Big Bang, is among the higher-profile members selected, along with Aoki, a Japanese-American musician and DJ whose father founded the Benihana restaurant chain. Indian actor Dave Josie was also among the picks for the group, composed largely of artists and photographers. U.S. Olympic snowboarder Caitlin Farrington and Japanese dancer Miyu were named as backup crew members. Mizawa made his fortune founding the online fashion retailer Zozo. Dyson is moving ahead with the launch of a pair of noise-canceling headphones, which can purify air. The Dyson Zone is priced at $949 in the U.S., where they will be released in March. The company said China gets them first in January, and then the UK, Singapore, and Hong Kong will also have a chance to purchase the headgear. The price sets them on an uphill climb, given the top of that segment is marked by the likes of the AirPod Max, retailing for $549 in the US. It can run together for four hours from one charge. Dyson said the Dyson Zone works with compressors in each ear cup, which draw air in through two layers of filters before projecting it to the nose and mouth. Dyson's filters, which last a year, can capture particles as small as 0.1 microns. Another layer can also filter out odors like construction and sewage films, or gas pollutants like nitrogen dioxide. Despite the prospect of a whirring motor ruining the audio experience, Dyson claims the 11 microphones in the product will help reduce ambient noise by as much as 38 decibels. SIQ Smart Basketball is the first to ever be approved by the International Basketball Federation (FIBA). SIQ is also the official basketball provider to Overtime Elite, a recently launched professional basketball league that prepares top talent for the NBA. The Finland-Minnesota-based company, which has been around for about two years, announced in May it had raised three million dollars from KB Partners and Terra Ventures. CEO of SIQ Eric Anderson claimed, "Our mission is to bring advanced basketball analytics to every player." The ball, which has a sensor at the top, uses machine learning to track shooting. Whenever a player takes a shot, the ball detects and categorizes it, generating 192 data points per shot. You can follow all this data over time on an app, telling you what's working and where you might need to improve. 
Already, SIQ's Smart Basketball has been endorsed by the NBA's Duncan Robinson and the WNBA's Kayla McBride, and has signed four top overtime elite players as brand ambassadors. Funny news will help you sharpen your English skills and keep you informed about international current events. If you want to know more about our other programs and keep learning about the world's most important topics in English, please click the link in the description below to join Fun Day for free. I'm John Yu, your host. I'll see you next time.